image of the post baby with infectious bacteria introduces you to the risk factors associated with postpartum infections. It is important to note that the most common infection is endometritis, followed by wound infections at the cesarean incision site or episiotomy, UTIs, and mastitis. A fever greater than 100.4 Fahrenheit after 24 hours on two or more consecutive days within the first 10 days postpartum is diagnostic of a postpartum infection. This is depicted as the fever beaver with $100 bill and .4 fork beside the 24-hour clock. One risk factor making a woman more prone to acquire an infection is multiple vaginal examinations, shown by the multiple vagina violet examiners, as this increases the opportunity of introducing external pathogens. Vaginal trauma, shown by the vagina violet with trauma spike, includes minor tears in the vaginal wall due to instrument use or trauma during delivery, which allow bacteria to enter the body and thus increase the risk of getting an infection, as does prolonged rupture of membranes represented by the prolonged membranes being ruptured, which is defined as an extended period of time following amniotic sac rupture without delivery, usually greater than 24 hours. This rupture allows pathogens to enter the uterus and places the mother and infant at higher risk of infections, respiratory distress syndrome, and sepsis. Cesarean birth, shown by the C-section, also increases the risk for infection as pathogens are given the opportunity to enter into the abdominal or uterine cavity, Anemia of pregnancy, shown by the anemone from the pregnant woman, causes a decrease in the number of circulating oxygenated blood cells, potentially decreasing the body's natural defense mechanisms in fighting infection. Retained placental fragments, shown by the placenta present fragments, that remain in the uterus pose the risk for infection as they deteriorate inside the uterus after delivery of the infant. Lastly, Poor health status of the mother increases the risk of infection and is depicted by the poor and unhealthy-looking woman. Particularly harmful conditions include diabetes, obesity, cardiac disease, as well as a general poor nutritional intake of the mother. So to summarize, postpartum infection is diagnosed by a fever greater than 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit 24 hours following birth. Risk factors include multiple vaginal examinations, vaginal trauma, prolonged rupture of membranes, and cesarean birth. Other factors may be anemia of pregnancy, retained placental fragments, and poor health status of the mother. When this post-baby was born, his mother was ecstatic. But then she noticed he had something with him. She looked closer, and it peeled open. Then, an infectious bacteria shot out and sucked onto her face. She immediately sought the help of Fever Beaver to kill it off. But for 24 hours, no amount of fireballs could remove the creature. She even paid him a hundred bucks to try prying it off with a forefork. Finally, she just passed out, and the face sucker fell off and died on its own. Her room filled with multiple examiners, as violets began sprouting from her vagina. Obviously, the creature had planted some kind of egg within her, and the examiners were curious as to what lay within. They started using trauma spikes to tear away the violets, hoping to catch a glimpse of what might wait inside. Finally, they reached her cervix, but found it was covered in a strange protective membrane. They pulled at the membrane, prolonging it, until it ruptured. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our obstetrics Picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from gestational diabetes, gestational hypertension, preeclampsia assessment, preeclampsia interventions, severe preeclampsia, and so much more. So you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.